after a nail-biting SOCON win for the East Tennessee State University men's basketball team. Excitement still growing for the football team as well. That's right. We're not quite there yet in no? terms of the season. <laughs> it's going to be a big one this year. The football team uh, in its third season will finally get to play on their very own field on campus. News Channel 11's Carissa Winstead is live at the multi-million dollar stadium at ETSU where construction they're saying could be complete even faster than expected. Yeah, that's right, Josh and Sarah. I spoke with athletic director Dr. Richard Sander early today, and he told me that crews are actually ahead of schedule on this project. If you want to take a look behind me, where in less than six months, fans will be filling these stands to watch ETSU's first home football game. This is a project years in the making, and as you know, the Bucks have been playing at Kermit Tipton Stadium at Science Hill for the past two seasons and are excited to finally get to play on their own field. Of course, construction on the field is just one of many projects going on in the athletic program here at ETSU. This evening, ETSU announced a fundraising initiative in hopes of raising $15 million. It's part of a strategic plan that's been in the works for the past three years to improve the athletic facilities around campus. The money has been used to upgrade Freedom Hall, build this football stadium, renovate weight rooms and locker rooms, as well as improving Brooks Gym. Everybody, depending upon you know your um, financial situation, um, can participate, and that's what we want. We want this to be um, an effort that everybody that cares about ETSU and ETSU and athletics can get involved with. So obviously lots of exciting stuff going on at ETSU and I want to point out we are actually standing in the suites where I have a feeling that Kenny Hawkins is going to be hanging out a lot during the football season. The first home game is on Saturday, September 2nd at 7 o'clock. Reporting live in Johnson City, Carissa Winstead, News Channel 11 in your corner.